Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven and welcome back to my channel. Now, last night there was not another Warriors Den live stream because they're not doing that weekly anymore. Just like everything else in this game, it's all disappearing slowly and slowly and slowly. So, what we have is a brand new system that they're doing, which we talked about in the past. For those of you who do not know, uh, they're going to have like a Warriors Den. Then on the slow weeks, they're going to have like a blog post, which we have here. And then they're going to have like, you know... This is going to alternate between those two. And today is one of those uh, blog posts. Now, I don't know if I'm going to cover these in the future because from what I can see here, they're very, very, very light, like extremely light. So depending, I might cover the ones that have actual stuff to them um, and I might not cover the ones that don't really have that much to it. But seeing as this is the first one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cover it. And it is what it is. It's going to be very, very short. So first of all, uh, the Ottoman Gunda should be available for everyone who did not buy the Season Pass. You should be able to pick him up for 15,000 still. And I can tell you the Ottoman Gunda is fucking fun as all goddamn hell. I will be putting out a video with my thoughts and opinions on him very soon. And I got a guide coming out as well. I've just been super slammed at work in my real life job. But I do have that coming. Don't stress. So as far as news is concerned, the standard edition of for Honor will be given away for free on the Epic Game Store. Uh, basically, you have till tomorrow to pick it up. So if you haven't got it and you want it for free, pick it up now because it's going to be one of your last chances to do it. Up next is the weekly arcade quest, and this is the Ludi of Dorbany. So it's basically a normal arcade quest format. You need Marching Fire in order to play this thing. So you need to either buy it or you need to know someone who uh, has Marching Fire, play with them, you get access to it. It goes from the 8th of august until the 15th of august and it's more you know pve stuff for you if you can't be fucked with pvp up next is the new event order and that is the ranked vanquishers challenge so this thing is going from the 9th of august until the 12th of august so be the faction uh, with the most ranked match wins and you will get the uh, rewards accordingly as for the next thing which is a discount now they didn't put a video here in this blog for it so i'm a little bit shitty because i can't show you guys so you're just gonna have to look it up in game but it's the ready to rumble in Emote and it's on discount from August the 6th until August the 15th and it's going down from 7,000 still to 4,000 still now I'm pretty sure this is the one where they sort of like tee up a little bit um yeah it wasn't really worth 7,000 still it's you know 4,000 still is still a little bit too much in my eyes but at least it's getting closer to what it's maybe worth so if you really dig it feel free to pick it up while it's on sale you got a little bit of time and then they talked about upcoming tournaments, which uh, the majority of people don't really care about. So that seems to be the end of uh, the blog post. Extremely short. Kind of good that they didn't do a Warriors Den live stream on this one because, yeah, it's it's there's nothing there. There's no meat to it. But seeing as this blog post was so short, um, I'm going to take this time to give my thoughts on the state of uh, Forerunner in general. It's not going to be too long. Uh, I just want to do a quick overview of what I think is happening here because I have had a bunch of people ask me. So in terms of the content that we're getting for Forerunner, I am a little worried here for the pure and simple fact that everything lately has been scaled back greatly. We're going backwards and backwards and backwards. The Warriors Den now is being scaled backwards. The content of the week is being scaled backwards. The release of Heroes, we used to get two plus two maps. Now we only get one plus a map here and there if we do get maps and stuff. So all that is getting scaled backwards as well. The reworks as well have all been scaled back. Content in general across the entire game is being scaled back. Now there is another issue as well, which I've been seeing a lot lately. I've been experiencing it. Flux Deluxe has been experiencing it and a bunch of other people have as well. And that is the fact that it takes so goddamn long to get games lately. And the times when you do get games, they're very unbalanced. You got people versing other people who should not be versing each other. Now this is a really big issue and I think I know the cause of it. It seems pretty obvious to me and I'd like to be proven wrong, but it seems like the most logical conclusion. And that is the fact that cause there are not enough people playing the game, it goes and looks for, you know, a equal matching of players. It can't find them. And because it can't find them, it basically, after a little bit, just jams people together, whoever's searching, and that's when you get that imbalance going on. Problem with that is the fact that then people get fucked, people get frustrated, and then they don't want to play the game as much because, you know, no one wants to get their ass raped every two and a half seconds by someone better than them because then they can't learn, they can't get better, they just get fucked. And this leads to the fact that that's why content's getting scaled back because if there aren't enough people playing, then Fron is not making enough money. If Fron is not making enough money, then of course, they're going to have to scale back the amount of content they're doing, which is really, really shit for all of us. And it's in, like, it's here in front of us. There is too much evidence right now to show that stuff is going wrong behind the scenes 
for us to just sit here and ignore it because of the pure and simple fact that we have all this content just disappearing. It's all just getting scaled back. You have key members leaving as well. Damien's gone, who was the second to I see of the entire, um, you know, four on a team. You have Eric Pope gone, who was the lead community manager guy. He's now gone. You had Bio, which was the lead uh, faction war chick. She's gone. You had Fred X, who was the guy running the Reddit. He's gone. I think there was another U Upsilon or something. There was another Ubisoft guy um, who was here and about. I saw leave as well. And those are just the ones that we know about. Who knows how many others have left as well. We also haven't heard from Roman in ages. And I heard a rumor that maybe Roman's left as well i don't know if that's that's just pure speculation that someone said and i saw a couple of other people say so i don't know if it's true or not but we also haven't seen roman in a while i hope he hasn't left because that would just be shit roman's great and i want him to stay and, and like you know keep leading this stuff but overall between the content getting scaled back the warriors then getting scaled back the uh players basically you know population dropping to the point where it takes like five ten minutes to get games depending on what time you're playing sometimes here in australia it gets to a point where i just can't find games at all and i'm not the only one experiencing this i get lots of comments from people saying the same thing and then also you go on the reddit anywhere there's tons of people saying they're getting matched against players they shouldn't be matched against i've experienced that a whole bunch where i've been fucking people left right and center and then i get put up against the fucking god and i'm just like well i can't do shit between all this stuff going on it's not looking that great behind the scenes and i think one of two things is going to happen next year one we're going to keep plotting along with either the same amount of content or less content than what we have now or we're going to get nothing whatsoever. They're going to cut the game dry and we're all just going to get cut loose. Or number three, they're going to do a uh, foreigner two and announce that. One of those three things is going to happen. I doubt they're going to then come back next year and go, we're now giving you a shit ton more content. Don't think that's going to happen and they're going to revert back to the old content schedules because none of the stuff's in place right now for that to happen in my eyes. So it's going to be interesting to see whether we actually get more heroes next year, whether we don't get any heroes next year what exactly happens i'm very interested to see if the game even survives next year and continues on i really fucking want it to because i love this game we all love this game we want it to be good we want it to be better and we've all stuck with this thing for like three plus years now so we're all here wanting this game to be better because we give a shit but the thing is we need some hope we need someone up top to come out and be like hey listen guys everything's g here's what's happening Here's what's going on. Now you know, everyone, you know, everyone calm down. We have, a, we have expectations, right? Because right now, no one knows what's happening with the game. And when no one knows what's happening in terms of the community, then we all just sit here and speculate, flounder, do this, do that. And it's just shit for everyone. At least if they give us a good direction on what's happening, let us know. And then we can all decide what we're going to do. But I really do hope that they keep going with the game next year. And I really do hope that we go back to Weekly Warriors Dens because Pope must have been doing a lot backstage right because the fact of the matter was every week even on their light weeks right they would have next to nothing for sure but those were like few and far between for the most part there was always something on the warriors den worth covering but nowadays it seems like no one's in charge of the warriors den it's just it's just like you got you got the two guys that are going right now they're both great i fucking love them they're both good but the problem with them is I don't think they're actually running the thing. They seem to just rock up. They go, what am I reading out? We're reading out this. And then they read it out. Whereas Pope's job was to basically run this thing. He took that on. He was on Reddit all the time. And he he basically turned the thing into what the Warriors then was. Where he got guests on. He got people on. And he ran the, that ship. They need someone who's going to do that as their full-time job. The Warriors then and the community side of it. They need someone there to run this motherfucking thing. So we don't end up where we are now. Because right now... Today's a blog post thing, then there's next two weeks of Warriors Den's live streams, then there's a blog post, then there's a blog post, then there's a blog post, then there's one Warriors Den live stream, then there's a blog post, blog post, blog post, one stream, blog post, one stream. So that's terrible. If they're all going to be like this one, that's bad. That's not going to be good at all because all that says is that they have nothing to show us. And if they have nothing to show us, that means they're not creating anything. If they're not creating anything, that means there's no content. If there's no content, that means we're all fucked. Content drives games, content keeps players around. And I'm going to be very interested to see what they have for the next Warriors Den live stream. Because the whole point of this blog system thing is to have one stream when they actually have stuff to show you. Substantial stuff, meat, you know, something good. And then the blog posts are supposed to be for the quiet weeks. This is really fucking quiet. So if this is really quiet, every stream I'm expecting a lot of stuff, cool stuff, stuff we all want to see. Because if it's not, and it's only like, you know, a little bit more than what we got, what we got now, oh, 
that's going to really suck. But I'm not sure what's happening next year. I'm very, very worried. We're going to have to wait and see. And hopefully if Foreigner blows up, some of you stick with me because I would certainly hate to lose all of you. But keep an eye out for that guide and keep an eye out for my thoughts and opinions on the Yorimunganda. It's going to be coming out soon. But that is the end of the video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I love reading and replying to all your comments down below. And feel free to check out my Discord and Twitter. There is a link down below in the description box for both of those as well. The Discord is a great way for me to talk to you guys outside the YouTube comments section. And of course, the Twitter is a great way for you guys to get a notification whenever a video is being uploaded because YouTube is a bit weird sometimes. And if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here on the channel and you want to support the channel further, feel free to check out my Patreon. There'll be a link down below in the description box and a link will pop up at the end of the video. And if you choose to donate, it is greatly appreciated. And a big shout out to my current Patreon patrons whose names you've been seeing in the background. Just wanted to say thank you for your support. It really does mean a lot. And please share this video around. It does help me out a fuck ton. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I shall see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.